Okay, here I have my poster and I'm ready to apply some colors to it. Um, ideally, what I want to do is um, create a, um, a color scheme for this particular um, poster. For each poster that I have in this series is going to have a different color scheme. You can find these color schemes um, in uh, a link or in our previous um, um, lesson that we had done on color theory, color schemes, and different types of um, color relationships that you can create with your um, color wheel. And so we have options here that we can look at complementary, triadic, analogous, split complementary, monochromatic. These are some choices that we can use. Um, and it tells you how you can um, use each one of these. And so when it comes to color relationships, it shows you some examples and how you can get to those and what they mean. So this is going to be worth a look at to, so you know what kind of color schemes that you'll be applying to this assignment. Um, another great resource is using um, Adobe um, Color, which is this site right here, which is great because um, here when you open this site and there's a link to it apply to the assignment, um, you can grab this main color here, it's shown with the, with the triangle, and you can move this around and see, right now I'm looking at analogous colors, um, and I'm in RGB mode. Um, and so that's gonna be important because we need to convert our project to RGB. Um, but I have these colors here, and um, by dragging this middle one, I now get five good choices for these colors, uh, this color scheme. Now, not only are these great because analogous are all colors side by side, but if I move them inwards as well, I also get kind of lighter tones of those same analogous colors. Um, so you can choose either way, um, however you want to arrange this, um, find a good color scheme that would work for your poster. And what you'll end up doing is using, let's say I want to use these colors here. You'll end up using what's called the hexadecimal code, which is this right here. And so let's say I want to start by using these colors. I'm going to um, click on those and I'm going to copy them so I can drag, select them. I'm going to control C to copy and I'm going to use those exact codes, these exact color combinations on my poster here. Um, but since those codes are in um, um, RGB mode, I need to change my mode of my image here to RGB. So I'm going to do that by going to File and, oh, sorry. Um, let's go to, let's see, not color settings. I need to go to document color mode. So file document color mode. And right now I'm in CMYK. I'm going to change it to RGB. So now let's say I want to apply that color that I copied from that website to one of the colors here. So let's choose the sky for instance. And the sky is basically, it's got a fill on it. And so let's click on the fill and I need to click on this color mixer little palette and here you can see the hexadecimal code down below so if I take that and paste what I copied I'm gonna take off that hashtag sign and I paste it there and hit enter it takes me exactly to that color to that exact color so I can easily go through and choose um, these different colors to place on all of the fills and then later all of the strokes um, as well. And so let's say I choose a color for this mountain here. Let's go back to that site. Say I want the mountain to be this color. I'm gonna choose that code, I'm gonna copy it, go back here, go to my fill, and I'm going to click on the hexadecimal code and control V and paste it. Hit enter, now I've got it entered there. Now all of the the stroke on this is a little it's gray and so gray is not going to be a great option it's not really part of any kind of color scheme 
um, that we'll be using. So if I want to change the stroke, since it's an outline, a dark outline, the easiest option is to take a darker version of this, or maybe even a lighter version. So if I go to the stroke here and I go to the color mixer, I can see the previous color that's chosen here, and I can go with something slightly darker than that. So I can choose a darker blue that will work for that. So I've gotten that chosen there. And when I click away, I can see a darker outline. Same thing goes with these detailed lines. Um, I can use that same hexadecimal code from my mountain. So if I go to the stroke, copy this code, copy, and go to these strokes on these edges, I can go to the stroke and I can control V and paste those there. So now they're consistent. I didn't have to go try to guess and find exactly which color it was. I knew exactly where it was because it already had it applied to another area. So you can reuse colors in these places. You can also use, um, depending on your color scheme, darker and lighter versions of these colors as long as they align with that original color scheme. There should be no dark or very, there shouldn't be no blacks, pure blacks, and no pure whites. What you should choose instead are very dark versions of those colors, very dark shades, or very light tints of the same color. So like these clouds up here, rather than making them white like a cloud, what I could do is choose something that's much lighter. I can look at my color schemes and see what I have here. I like this color, so I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to apply it to this on my clouds. My clouds are selected. I'm going to paste it here, hit enter, and that works. But let's say I wanted them to be lighter. So if I go here, I've got options here where I can make this lighter. I can choose um, a lighter version and kind of bringing down that cyan, which is that blue color. Um, so I can change that the way it's mixed in there. Um, I can also change it here by choosing color that's lighter. Um, I would not go all the way to the white like this, but I would use something that's much lighter version of that blue color. So um, go through each of these. If you have text in your um, project, also make sure that your text is also part of your color scheme. So here I've got kind of a analogous color scheme where it's colors side by side from yellows to greens. And I've also gotten um, the colors added to my text, which fits in with those with that color scheme. Remember, your text should not stand out so much that it is obnoxious. Um, most of your detail and work should be seen in your um, the, what you've done to the poster itself. So all of this, each one of these posters will end up being a different color scheme um, for this assignment. And you can pick and choose darker colors, maybe in the darker shaded, shaded areas, lighter colors in the lighter areas, and so forth. So have some fun and play around with this website. There's also other um, options that you have with monochromatic. You can drag the main color here and get all of your choices. Um, same thing goes for triad and complementary. So apply these colors to your color schemes and um, have fun with it.